Good morning, Cohort C families. Uh, I know today's a holiday and there's no school, which is why I'm sending this out a little later, just in case you get to sleep in. Um, because, you know, we got some changes going on. So I wanted to uh, address those in case you still have any questions. So last week, you probably saw this on Bloom's, the return to in-person learning, which doesn't affect you and your kids unless you want to switch to the one of the A or B cohorts. Um, so if you want to stay remote, you got nothing to worry about, nothing to do. Uh, reminder that if you click on your child over here where it says timelines, you can see uh, how they did last week and the week before. So you want to see your kids getting these green ones. You are getting some of your assignments done or participating, or you've got them all done. Uh, these are things you can celebrate with your child uh, for science. And if they get the reds, those are good to sit and have a talk about what's going on there. So that's something I just want to remind you that you have that at your disposal. Now for uh, this week, Today, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, no Zooms, nothing. Tomorrow, it's going to be like normal, our 845 Zoom with the three teachers to 915. And then we'll have our 130 Zoom with all three teachers. And uh, we're just going to do uh, something with all three of us. It's not going to be a math, science, or ELA social studies, but maybe a little bit of all three. Uh, Wednesday, just like normal, your kids are working uh at home and just using office hours or messaging me to get help these are the three assignments in science that need to get done uh we've got two weeks till the end of the semester and the water quality research the graph and teach it are what's going to get your child a three if they do all the other practice work uh that can get them a one or a two because it gives me a glimpse but it's practice so the big assignments are the ones that show me what they actually know and that's the only way they can get a three or a four. And a three is what you want to see. That means they're they're at standard. They're working uh, at a sixth grade level. If you see a four, that means your child has gone above and beyond. And, and they can probably even teach this to their peers. Um, and some kids are doing the optional fun assignments. I post those for the kids that are done with all their required assignments. So if your kid says they've been working really hard and getting a lot of work done and they get a one or a two, it could be because they did the fun ones and didn't turn in or didn't do very well at the required science ones. So you can check in with me uh, if, if after a report card, you're like, why'd my child get a two? He's doing all his work or she's doing all her work. Thursday and Friday then become a little different because Miss Berg and I will be back at school teaching full time all day with cohort A and B. So we're going to be a little slower responding to your kids um, and there will be no office hours for either of us because we'll be at school. You know, usually we have at the end of the day and on weekends to catch up and respond to your kids. So if they message us and need help, uh, we don't even have Wednesdays anymore because Wednesdays there are there's school too. So uh, Mr. Brennan can help. And with me, most kids get their answers on Classcraft. So they can just keep doing it that way. Mr. Brennan, though, is going to keep the 845 and 130 Zoom. So your kids can have uh, their check-in with Mr. Brennan. They can get help from him on math um, and ask questions about science and English language arts social studies. So that's what it's going to look like from now on starting Thursday. If you have any questions, message one of us on Blooms or email or contact Mr. Lynch. All right, have a great rest of your Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and um, yeah, have a great week.